Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to change sky at will on your photo. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Romani. I'm a French photographer from the amazing, the beautiful city of Paris, France, and I live in Los Angeles, California. I make one to two tutorials per week. Click here if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel so you get a notification every time a new video comes out. All right, let me show you in Photoshop how you can change sky at will. All right, I want to show you one of the most easy way there is to change sky, and that is to use the multiply blend mode. Now, for this to work, you need a photo with a very wide sky, and you need to make it a little too overexposed, like this photo. This is a photo that I shot for my good friend Nathanel Couture, an amazing designer. That was a model that we were in Paris with by the Eiffel Tower, but you know the sky was it was actually pouring rain. And uh, she was just under the bridge, so the, the water was not getting to her. But, you know, it's a good photo, but I wanted to see if I could add more drama. So what I do here is I have this sky that's open, which is very blue, and this one that's kind of more yellowish. Let's try with the more yellowish one. And so I'm going to use the Move tool and drag and drop it over the photo. So here is my sky. I want the sun to be the other side, so I'm going to press, I'm going to go to Edit, free transform or I can press command T. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go flip horizontal to have the sun here. I want to position it here. Now he, here is the, the few steps you need to do. Step number one, position your sky right at the horizon. So here is the horizon. Then I'm going to take my sky and I'm going to duplicate it by dragging and dropping it here. And then, and then I'm going to press command T again so you know command T, but this time I'm going to flip vertical. Okay, I'm going to hold down the shift key and drag my copy and make a perfect mirror. So now I got a perfect mirror of the sky, top and bottom. All right, I'm going to select both of this guy. I'm going to right click and I'm going to merge the layer. So now they're into one layer. This layer, I'm going to put it into a multiply mode and that's the secret. And it's going to do most of the heavy lifting for us. So multiply mode, look at this, it just totally blends. I mean, it goes here a little bit over the default tower. We have to fix that. You can see some of the clouds a little bit in the structure here. The reflection is good. It's a little strong here, but overall, it's already a good start. Check it out. Before, after. I love the multiply mode. As I said, it's going to work if your photo has a white sky or is very bright. But believe me, having white sky is one of the most easy things to do in photography, especially in winter in Paris. Okay, now... I'm going to take the lasso tool and I'm going to get, make a very rough selection of the model and of the uh, pillar here and of the entire bottom of the photo. So now I've got a selection and you see here I have a feather of 20 pixel on the lasso tool. So it's a very, very quick selection. Nothing fancy. All I'm trying to do is now I'm going to make sure I'm on the sky layer here. I'm going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm going to blur a lot, like 100 and over like 150. Check it out. Before, you see how you see all the clouds, which is not very realistic. And after, because we blur it, we kind of see the clouds, but we don't see the color of the clouds. We don't see the clouds themselves, which is really good. So I'm going to press OK and Command D to undo. So that's pretty good. Uh, it's kind of weird there, but uh, we can always do a little mask. Take a little brush, B for brush. Make sure your brush is very low, like, you know, 10, 50%. And black is my foreground color. Remember, black conceals, white reveals. Uh, make sure the brush has a hardness of zero, so a very soft brush. And I can just brush away the, you know, the 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 sky from from this place here, you know, wherever I want to, and maybe over her. Take a brush, make sure there is no clouds on, not too much on the face, and but the blending is almost perfect because because you know we have. Uh, this blending mode of multiply. Now, the only thing I don't like is the Eiffel Tower that's kind of like not really, uh, you know, it's kind of like too much in the fog because of the sky. So I'm going to duplicate this layer. I'm going to put this one on top. And this one I'm going to put onto multiply. Okay, it's going to do something kind of, it's going to put the Eiffel Tower back over everything. And then I'm going to press the option key and a mask to make this uh, a black mask. Remember, black conceals what reveals. So now, 
This mask is completely invisible. I'm going to take back my brush. This time I'm going to put the opacity like at least at 50%. I'm going to put white because now I want to reveal this Eiffel towel. And I'm just going to paint a little bit over the Eiffel towel and the multiply mode is going to make it, you know, it's going to reveal itself. So that's one sky replacement. Uh, let's try another one. So I'm going to put this one into a group and I'm going to call it sunset. Okay. And let me just redo it really quick, but this time with a night feeling. So I'm going to, same thing, I take the move tool, I take the sky over, I put it here, uh, command T, so zoom out a little bit, command T, I'm going to make it smaller, make it go on the horizon like this. I like the idea of the moon that's over her. So it's actually a sky I shot in LA a couple of days ago. I'm going to duplicate the layer, press command T, right click, flip vertical, shift, to make it stick, okay, I'm going to select both. It's the same thing I'm doing before. I'm going to merge the layer. I'm going to put it into multiply mode. Boom. Check out the drama. Now, same thing here. We got too much of this. I'm going to show you another technique. So you can go here and you can take the quick select tool. Make sure you are in the photo itself. And I'm going to make a selection of the Peter. I'm going to make a selection of the entire bottom of the photo and a selection of her really quick. And then I'm going to go back to filter. And this time I can just use the same value that I had before. You see, it's in memory. Gaussian blur. And boom. Sorry, come and see. I made a mistake. I should have been on the sky, cloud layer. So I'm going to redo it. And I show you that mistake so you don't do the same thing. And boom. Voila. And uh, so it's pretty good there. We still see a little bit too much. So make sure you do a mask. You know, same idea. A mask with uh, black as a foreground, uh, a low value when you do that, use a low value, and I can mask out here to make sure it's not, there is no clouds on the pillar. And you know, if you think it's too much here, you can even make bright points, you can take it out on her face, so it's not on her face, even make her dress, and voila. So, and same idea, I can get the Eiffel towel to, uh, let me see if I can use the same layer that I had before this one. Just this one, I'm gonna take this one out, for the Eiffel towel is it yeah it's doing a great job so basically so that's you see how fast it is and it's so fun to do so that's one version like you know very blue moon and that's another version very sunny and voila so this is a really quick way to do a sky replacement now I have if you like Photoshop I have a new course that just came out it's a very short course it's one half hour. It's called Photoshop Quick Start. Let me show you what it is. What it is is we're first going to go into Camera Raw, and I'm going to show you all the things about Camera Raw to make your photo really pop using Camera Raw. Then I'm going to show you a whole bunch of Photoshop tricks, like how to change the sky, but that's a little bit more advanced, how to change the sky and put the sky on, on a photo. Very similar to what we did, but it's a little more advanced technique. How to retouch the skin, that's the before, that's the after, Ret uh, you know, using frequency separation. How to take somebody in the studio and boom, put it on a photo like this how to erase anything in Photoshop. It's a very short course. You will be able to learn Photoshop and get around Photoshop. It's different projects and you have a great offer right below this video. So check it out, my Photoshop Quick Start course. Thank you so much and please like this video if you like it, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed and check out my Photoshop Quick Start course. If you don't know Photoshop and you've always wanted to learn it, it's the perfect course in no time you will be up and running. Mesdames et messieurs, see you in another video.